Hey guys, welcome to another recap of Survivor Heroes vs. Villains. Last week, Randy was sent home. Eh. So, at the Villains, Coach is having a real crybaby moment because he doesn't like the fact that Sandra called him out. Tyson was there for him, I'm happy to say. They shared a warm embrace. They spooned. Um, I think they're soulmates, pretty much. But Boston Rob wanted in on a little of that action, too, so he gave uh, Coach a little uh, pep talk as well. I'm sensing a love triangle. All right, so at the Heroes uh, Tribe, the Sears catalog arrives. Not just any Sears catalog, though, the Survivor Sears catalog. I'm pretty sure it arrived at the Villain Tribe, too. But the Heroes are pretty confident that they're going to come out victorious on the uh, reward challenge. So they go there, and it's a race, a head-to-head -head race on a slip and slide, a giant slip and slide. And they have to retrieve the numbered ball that Jeff Probst tells them to. The first one to get it in this little arcade-style survivor basket gets a point for their team, and the first team to score four points wins the reward. And it is a pick-your-own-reward package out of the catalog. I think they got about four or five items out of the catalog uh, as their reward. So Parvati is the only one sitting out. And the villains started off with a huge lead, like three to one. Then it whittled away, three to two, three to three. Finally, it came down to Tyson versus Colby. Tyson beat Colby in like the last second. I mean, they were they both had the ball at the end, and they were trying to get it in the tiny little basket. They missed like three or four times each, and Tyson finally pulled it out for the villains. Sweet! So the villains win personal reward. All right, so they get their tools and a tarp and other accoutrements uh, to build a decent shelter for them because that's what they really need. They're really suffering shelter-wise. So when they get back to camp, Russell uh, discovers that there's a little note in the handsaw. If he had realized that it was the clue to the hidden immunity idol, he would have kept it a little bit more secret, but hey, the secret's out. So Boston Rob reads the note, and it gives the clue as to where the hidden immunity idol is, and everyone decides that no one should have it, except for Russell. Russell sneaks off later on and tries to find it, and everybody knows that he is looking for the immunity idol. So guess what? Big target on your back, Russell. Wise up. Did you really think nobody would think that you were looking for it? Oh, come on. They're not that stupid. They're villains. So at the Heroes Tribe, they find the hidden immunity idol clue in their jar of coffee. And everyone tears out of there and is starting to look for it. Tom actually finds it and you know, tries to stick it in his sock all nonchalantly while Amanda is like two inches away from him, like she didn't see it. So Amanda tells everybody he found it, which puts a huge target on Tom's back. But Tom and his wife, Colby, are so happy that this is going to give them an in into the alliances of the Heroes tribe. We'll see. So it's time for the immunity challenge, and... This was the only challenge in the history of Survivor that was not finished. This was the challenge that they had to stop when Russell with the dreadlocks from last season passed out and had to leave the show. So you, know, you remember how it goes, all you Survivor fanatics. Uh, one person from each tribe is put in this giant uh, ball and two blindfolded people from each tribe you know, guide him through a maze until they get to a maze table. Then the remaining four people in the challenge on each team are blindfolded and have to get a ball through the table maze. So Courtney and Sandra, or Sandra, sat out for the villains, and Suri sat out for the heroes. Tom was in the ball, and Boston Rob was in the ball. The villains were in the lead. They got to the table maze first. But then it was so close at the end. They were um, Tom's team caught up the heroes, and 
In the end, though, Boston Rob's team, the villains, pulled it out, which was pretty sweet. So the villains won immunity, and Tom and Colby, um, they should be a little bit worried because they are having some alliance issues on their tribe. Nobody really likes them that much, except for JT. All right, so Suri and Candace are thinking that uh, Colby needs to go because Tom's going to play his idol, and they're going to give the rest of the votes to Colby, so he should go. So JT and Amanda, though, they have a different idea. They make a deal with Tom, and I don't know why Amanda went and told Suri about the deal. And Suri was like, girl, you can't. You can't keep Tom. He's got to go. He already won the game. He needs to go. So she convinces Amanda that uh, Tom needs to go and she should be on Suri's team. But then Tom makes a crazy plan that he's going to get three votes. He's going to use his hidden immunity idol. And JT is going to vote for Suri along with Colby and Tom. And that means Colby will only get two votes. So, it's anybody's guess at this point. <laughs> Tom needs uh, JT to stick to his word this time, though, and vote with him. So, at Tribal, Jeff is wondering, if everybody is a hero on the Hero Tribe, how do you base your vote? So, the answer, alliances. Uh, yeah, Jeff tells Rupert that he's the problem, because he's voting alliances, and that's not going to make a strong tribe. So... Everybody is pretty much concerned except JT about going home and Colby or is he? Um, yeah, it's time to vote and Tom plays the idol. I'm really surprised that Jeff wasn't like if anybody's got the idol uh, Tom had a pop out of his seat and was like I got the idol So he gets the three votes like he planned and Suri is voted out by a vote of three votes for her and two votes for Colby Just like Tom said it was gonna go down Blindside! Alright, so Suri was pretty surprised. Next time, Russell is a marked man on the villains because he's looking, he cannot let that immunity idol go. Candace switches sides. She's trying to hook up with Tom and Colby and somebody needs a medic. It kind of looked like Russell, but it's anybody's guess. Till next week, much love.